Today's lesson is about factor the polynomial with four terms. So we will factor polynomial with four terms by using grouping. Grouping today. Let's look at the example. Before we get started, let's look at the two facts. If I have a plus b minus c. I want to put the positive sign before that. I put the parentheses. Then nothing change. We will get this. But if I have a plus b minus c, I want to take negative sign outside. I have to change the sign for every single term. So a change into negative a, positive b change into negative b, the negative c turn into positive c. This is the two facts you need to memorize. Let's go to number one. So when you look at the problem, you could find out m minus n and then m minus n. So m minus n will be common factor for that. So I take m minus n outside. When I say take outside, that means you do divide. Divide by n minus n, so I will get the 7 cube left plus n minus n gone, so plus p. That's uh, how to do the first question. Now let's go to the number 3. So number three, I have four terms. I need to do grouping first. So I will get like parentheses, 2x third power minus 3x squared. I put parentheses. Then minus, I take a negative sign outside because this is minus. This one is minus. So I will get 8x minus 12. Then I will find the GCF for each. I got the x squared, 2x minus 3, minus squared. So this is the 8 and a 12, it's a 4. I get the 2x minus 3 again. So you could see 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3 is common factor. So I take both outside, 2x minus 3. When I take this outside, then this is gone, this is gone. What's left is x squared minus 4. But just check, can you keep factoring? Is it this one is a those factoring? Yeah, it is. So I will do the square root for both. My final answer will be 2x minus 3, x plus 2, x minus 2. Let's go to number 4. This is a polynomial with four terms. So I will do the grouping. And uh, the first two is 3x third power minus 3x squared. Put the parentheses. Positive. So put the parentheses. You don't have to change anything. So I will figure out the GCF for each grouping. I got this is a 3x squared. So divide by 3x squared and 3, 3 is gone, x third power, so I got the x. 3x squared divided by 3x squared is 1, so minus 1. Plus 4 is common factor. I have x minus 1. So x minus 1, x minus 1 will be the common factor. I take x minus 1 outside. I will get x minus 1, so this is gone. 
what's left for each is 3x squared plus 4. So I will check 3x squared plus 4. Can I factor this? No, it's not the those. It's not the cubic factoring. So that's my final answer. This is my final answer. For number 2 and number 5, 6, can you do the practice on your notebook?